Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Chris Cooper, known as the Channel Guy Trader, and I am reporting to you live from Wall Street Trading Satellite Office located down in sunny South Florida. Today's date is Friday, September the 21st, 2012, and here is today's midday market update. I want to first start by taking a look to see how the indices are trading right now. The uh, Dow Jones is currently up 31.86. The comp is up a little over 13 and a half here. And the Russell's up five and a half, and the S&P is up uh, close to four points. Uh, the banks are flat. Oil index XOY is up three points. Euro's up a little bit. Dollar slightly down to flat. Uh, SLV silver's flat. JJC copper's up slightly. GDX gold miners up 39 cents. GLD up 45 cents here. Not a, much going on today. Today is quadruple witching, so there are a lot of there are a lot of. Um, Stocks are getting pinned at certain levels, to, and just seems like pretty, today's pretty much a slow day. I mean, we, we did have a nice little gap up overnight, about four or five points, and the markets come have has been coming in since the opening price on the ES around 14.6125. Some levels to watch for support going forward throughout the rest of the session here. Uh, some levels that we're watching over here in the chat room. I mean, we already highlighted the fact that this 14.56 level was going to be key. And you can see so far we're still holding above 1456 to, to the top side. We have to watch that 1460 area. 14 holding above 1460 would have been good today, but the buyers weren't able to to hold price up, so we came right back in. Uh, previous day's close is 1455. I'm sorry, previous day's highs on the ES is 1455, and then we're going to have to watch the 1455 previous day's highs and 1454 previous day's close. Um, aside from that, as as long as we really just can hold above this 1455 uh, today against previous day's highs that that should be good enough going into the weekend you can see here on the five minute chart we are in a downward channel all right you can see we had a like a little fake breakout attempt right here past this little downward channel we came right back in bottom support that channel is going to be down here towards 1455 like i said which also lines up with the previous day's highs so that could be a good pickup area to buy some uh, strong stocks some uh, strong stocks across the board today, starting off with DR, uh, starting off with DRI, which uh, I mean it was start off start off strong early this morning when it broke above 57.40, hit hit a high of 57.69, then pulled back in. Let me bring this over for you guys here real quick. So this stock had earnings, which you can see it was trading in the range here between 57.40 and 57. Called it out as a long at 57.40. And then you popped up to like 60s. I was able to piece out a bit. Uh, we were able to piece out a little bit of uh, this DRI, but then you can see it faded, and that was uh, stopped out as a flat on the other half. But that's really not doing anything today here, as uh, it could really start fading in the afternoon session. Just keep it on watch. This stock's a stock in play. You know that 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 was a little fake breakout right here, and you know luckily, you know it didn't crash hard enough where you weren't able to get out for a flat. So just keep that one on watch. DRI. Uh, I know Coors was in play this morning from the, the the guidance that they gave, and this one as well. See, Coors tried to break out, break out past a new high, and it just faded. And that's what we're seeing today: some of these stocks that are in play breaking out to new highs in, from the uh, early morning highs and fading. Uh, TIBX called this out as a short in the chat room. We got sh involved to the short side around 30.75. All right, and now we're st I'm still short that stock with a break-even stop at 30.72, with the uh, you know, just letting this one ride down and trailing the stop as I was able to clip out some. We were able to clip out of some around the 30, uh, 40 area around that level there on the TIBX. Uh, another stock we were watching today, KBH. Uh, some traders in the chat room are trading this KBH. KBH had earnings. Uh, you know, they like the earnings. The home builder sector has been strong, had a nice little breakout over 1365 and already ran a point. This stock is on fire today, up 11%. Home builders are taking the lead in this market as they have been. And, and that's really about it. I can take a look at the Qs with you guys real quick. The Qs are really uh, just doing nothing. You know, they're still holding positive, but they look like they want to go negative on the day right here. You can see 15-minute Qs on the bottom left side, the hourly Qs on the right-hand top side. Really not, not much going on there. Uh, you could draw a little downward trend line in. All right. And same thing, then draw a little parallel channel line here. And you can say, okay, we got a nice little downward channel. So you kind of use this little area right here to maybe try to scalp some Qs or scalp some stocks in the NASDAQ. But uh, aside from that, guys, just really quiet market. You know, markets trading sideways. Some stocks are selling off, off the off the gap up. Some stocks are holding their gap up highs. 
And Sean Walter Strength strength like KBH. I mean, take a look at uh, Lennar. Let's see what this home builder is doing. This home builder is breaking out. You could also take a look at Toll, which was not training as strong as uh, Lennar or KBH. But this one, even this, even this one's starting to get some action up there. But pretty much trading choppy. I mean, look at this five-minute chart. This looks kind of thin on the volume for how it's trading. But in any case, yeah, that's really about it, guys. Hope you guys are having a great morning so far. Just doing a quick little video update as it is quadruple witching, so I'm not expecting much today. And uh, let me take a look and see what Apple's doing. And Apple, Apple's a strong stock. Obviously, I don't trade Apple, but I do use it as a gauge. But Apple, again, here is making new um, all-time new all-time highs. The longer it holds above 700 and starts holding 755 and 710 and 725. <laughs> I mean, this thing is just keep on going up. I have a friend that works at Sprint. And you know they're they're getting the iPhones today, so you can expect you know some um, happy people walking around the, the mall, saying the stores with their new iPhones this weekend. In any case, guys, hope you guys have a great weekend. Make sure you tune in to the uh, weekend review, which will be out by tomorrow. Well, I'll say by tomorrow evening. So make sure you check that out. And then Sunday night at 9.30 p.m., we have our Sunday night live chart session. Make sure you're there. If you have not been to our website yet, please go to wallstreettrading.com. Fill out the form on the right-hand side to get access to the My Wall Street TV premier trading room, chat room, have live, live trading news. A great group of guys calling out some great trades. Like We had one of the guys in the chat room called the Q-Core earlier this week and wrote it down for the whole 10-point move drop with the puts. Some people had the stock. So make sure you come check it out. We got some good stuff going on. If you are a trader or if you're if you are a trader, a trade manager and you have a trading group and you're looking for better rates for your business, please contact me, C Cooper at WallStreetTrading.com. That is C Cooper at WallStreetTrading.com and I can definitely help you find a uh uh, better rates to work off of for your group or your traders or if you're trading yourself. In any case, have a great weekend, guys, and I'll catch you guys um, for the weekend review. Have a good one, guys. Later.